Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for photography and post-processing software. Today we are inside on one Photo Raw 2022 and we are going to deal with this portrait shot. Now this is a test shoot so not the actual image that went to the customer. That image was shot the day after but we are going to do the test shoot because I still own the rights for this photo. So these two girls have quite different skin tones and skin colors and that usually is a challenge but we are going to try and uh, do the best we can out of this image. Uh, first thing I want to do is to change the camera profile from on one standard to linear raw. I find that linear raw in portraits gives me more room to work. The second thing is to change the crop and I'm keeping the original ratio and I'm just going to go down uh, a bit tighter to something like this. Yeah, I think that works uh, okay. So uh, now I have both girls in the thirds in the corners here and here, and that's fine. I could probably perfect the crop a bit better, but uh, I think it's going to work well as is. All right, so the next thing I want to do is to change the white balance. I think this is a bit too hot, so I'm going to make this a bit colder, meaning I'm moving more over to the blues in the white balance and I'm moving to around 5400. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to introduce some more magenta, but not too much. So I'm thinking around there and I could probably introduce some more vibrance as well but I'm not going to do that right now I'm moving into the effects and I want to set a decent white point and a decent black point to do that I'm going to do it, this with a curve so add filter and a curve and let's check the levels or the histogram and you can see that we have no no true white point and no true black point so let's set that setting the white point first so over to something like that let's activate the clipping warning so we can see the highlights yeah that's pretty good and let's create a black point so somewhere around here that's a bit too much so to around here I guess let's just go in on that white point even more somewhere around there I think that's fine actually uh, let's go for the develop module and I'm going to open up the shadows just a bit more and I could do this within the curve we just created but I like to create a curve that is kind of static with a white and black point so that's the reason why I'm not tweaking that curve anymore and I'm just pulling up the midpoint and the shadows a bit and let's introduce some more contrast to somewhere around there and let's add back some blacks to around there I'm quite happy around there now I could try and set the correct uh, skin tones with the vibrance but that would just mean that I would sit and tweak and tweak and tweak and never be happy so we are going into effects and add filter and we are going to do a color adjustment I'm going to hit the mask there and I'm going to hit the invert button so black conceals so whenever we have a black mask like this nothing of the effect goes through to the end result or the image uh, so black conceals and white reveals whenever it's white all of the effect are going through to the image so I can illustrate that by going up on the saturation and if I hit invert nothing goes through but if I paint over here uh, we are letting through the effect on her face on where it's white so that's a bit of uh, explanation on how masks work all right let's just process this so we are on the red channel i'm just going to reset that saturation and i'm going to move into a hundred percent and over her face like this that's fine let's increase the range just a little bit and 
I'm going to increase the brightness. I want to try and match this tone, the reddish tone, to the more orangey tone over here. So that's the reason why I'm increasing brightness. And I'm, I'm going down on the saturation just a bit there. Uh, quite a lot actually. But for me, it works. We are evening out her skin tones. I'm just gonna move the hue more over to the orange. So to around there. What we did now was to even out the skin tones and we actually also flattened her uh, skin tones. Uh, we can try and see if we can actually spot the difference. It's not a huge difference. So we went from this to this. And that works quite well for her face. And I'm not going to change anything else. So let's go over to this girl, whoops, and her face. And we are adding another color adjustment. I'm just going to rename this first to left, like that. And let's add another adjustment. I'm just gonna rename that to right. Just so I pick the <laughs> correct one if I need to change it again. And let's paint in the mask on her face as well. And I'm decreasing this mask. Let's invert the mask here and paint in the mask here. Something like that. And that's fine. Out to 100. And let's start tweaking her skin tones. So I'm increasing the range and decreasing the saturation and I'm just gonna brighten up her face a little bit to around there just gonna check here yeah I'm actually going to paint that out from her eyes so I'm changing the mode to paint out and just gonna paint it out like that because she has some reds in her eyes that the software are picking up and I don't want to do that. That's fine. I think it's fine for her. So let's see there. Yeah, this is more like it. That's quite nice actually. Now the next thing I want to do is to go into the portrait module and we are going to start to process their faces inside there. So this is the girl on the left side and we can retouch the skin but of course we don't need to retouch the skin these are actually quite young girls so <laughs> they don't have the skin imperfections that we older people usually have but i want to go in on her eyes and let's see what's going on there we can brighten her eyes but it's not necessary we don't need to whiten her eyes uh, but we can of course add some more details to her eyes so i want to go up to around here and i think i'm happy with that uh, we can deal with her uh, colors her lip colors and uh, maybe go down just a bit on the brightness to around there and we could try and change the hue but i think maybe not okay so I'm quite happy about that. We could maybe try and go up just a small amount on the brightness on our skin to around there. Uh, let's move over to the girl on the right side and let's do the same here. So, but I'm going to increase the brightness on her skin to around there. So yeah, 36, that's fine. Let's add some more details to her eyes somewhere around there let's uh, look at her mouth i think i'm happy with that so yeah let's go to fit view again i'm just going to check the levels here yeah i want to add some more contrast actually to around there and now the eyes are really popping and i really like it but let's see here let's move into noise and sharpening and we could try the no noise ai so yeah let's just do that and see what we end up with and let's check her skin yeah we still have a lot of details in her skin but it's 
over sharpening just a bit so i need to go down on the enhanced detail and yeah that's uh, pretty perfect actually it's a bit sharp still but let's keep it there and let's check her face yeah this is quite nice so i'm hitting apply okay so let's go out again yeah we are starting to get there <laughs> uh, what's the next thing we should do maybe i'm actually going to do a vignette no let's do a dynamic contrast and it's going to be too much but we are going to apply that locally so let me move in like this and let's invert this dynamic contrast and let's go for paint in and i'm going down on the opacity to about 30 40 and I'm just going to paint that dynamic contrast in on her eyebrows and her eyes. On the edges of her eyes and her eyelids. Uh, this really brings out the eyes and makes uh, the eyes pop just a bit. So something like this. And the same on this side. But... We need to be a bit careful about this because we don't want to make it look like they have mascara on. We want to keep them as natural as we can. But I'm just going to paint it in on this eyebrow as well. And let's move for navigation there. And I'm just going to move, move to her mouth. And I'm going to do the same just around the edges of her mouth. And yeah, uh, I wish I had my tablet, my drawing tablet, but I'm using a mouse right now, so I'm not <laughs> able to mask uh, really well here, it seems. But yeah, it is what it is. So let's go out. And this really makes her eyes and eyebrows pop. So this is without. And this is with, I'm not sure you can actually see it on your screen, but I can see it here. Uh, let's move over to the other girl and do the same here as well. So I want to go up on the opacity on her, just to around there. And let's do the same again here. So we want the viewer to be drawn to their eyes. Uh, the eyes are the most important thing for me in portraits. That's what I want to highlight. If I'm not able to capture <laughs> the eyes in a good way on portraits, I don't even press the shutter. So for me, the eyes are truly, really important in portrait photography. I'm just going to apply some local contrast there as well. And let's do the same for the mouth. So a portrait, usually it's uh, quite a lot of work to get it to be perfect. I'm not going to be able to get this portrait to be perfect because uh, I would need more time to do so. And I would probably need uh, Photoshop or something to be able to remove the hairs over her face. So yeah, it's not going to be perfect this one. Let's go out to fit view and I actually think I'm quite happy about that. Now I also want to introduce some dynamic contrast to their hair. I'm just going to paint that in as well. It just makes the eyes move over to them because they are popping more when they get some more contrast. And I think that's good for her. Let's do the same for this young girl. And just painting this in like that. And yeah, that's fine. All right, so what's next? I'm thinking maybe we should just go for tone and color and actually introduce some more vibrance. And I'm going to dehaze a bit just to make it pop even more. And yeah, that's fine. And let's go for effects again. And I'm going to add some sharpening. But I'm going for screen. And I think I'm going to drop it just a bit. But we are going to check at 100% first. 
and yeah we are going to drop it to around here i think it's about uh, 77 percent and now we are going to drop a vignette and we are going for the big softy preset and i think that really works well for this image and i'm going up slightly on the shadows and some on the mid tones yeah to something like that and maybe even add some more contrast to around there and let's go down on the black point as well to something like this and it's a bit too bright in the shadows so let's go down to around there and yeah i think that's uh, it actually let's see the before and after so i'm hitting the this button and that's where we started so a very flat image with uh, <laughs> too much variation in the skin tone colors and we ended up with this so i'm pretty happy about it but i'm just going to lower the brightness of her eyes because it's far too much uh, yeah so it's too much in the details actually so let's just go down there and just down some on the skin brightness as well to around there and that's it yeah i kind of like the image uh this is before and this is the after result quite nice actually just a bit too much in the uh, vibrance there so let's go down to there Okay, so that's it for this image. Uh, if you like uh, this video, hit that like button. If you want to watch more from me, hit that subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.